guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze and this is neze real okay watch this I wish I could dance, sir. Okay, that was Dr. Anu, the chief medical officer and the owner of Med Contour. Now, Med Contour, if you don't know, is a body sculpturing, body contouring, plastic surgery stroke cosmetic surgery clinic located at Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. As you can see from the video, Dr. Anu is not your regular Dokita. She's not your regular surgeon, okay? She's that life baby doll surgeon with sauce. Come on, it's not every day we get to see beautiful surgeons like this with tattoos, colored wigs, leg chains, and an enhanced behind. But hey, her looks are not what we are here to discuss. After all, they say, do not judge a book by its cover. Okay? But today, guys, today, my brilliant, we are going to be discussing, in-depth, analyzing, reacting to Dr. Anu, her clinic, Med Contour, the alleged cases of botched procedures that have led to death. This news has been flying all over social media in the past few days. And generally, we are also going to discuss about plastic surgery in Nigeria. This gist is going to be very, very hot. You don't want to miss it. And if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe icon and join the fam. Before I continue this gist, I'm going to give you guys one second to like this video, okay? And subscribe. Have you liked? TikTok. Have you subscribed? TikTok, I go to the comment section and start dropping your comments. Let's do it. Having done that, let's dive right into the video. Contour and Dr. Anu have been in operations for quite a little time, but the first time we Nigerians or the first time the news or the press got wind or got to hear about this doctor and this facility was in 2018. Let me just you guys. In 2018, former beauty queen Neka Miriam was alleged to have lost her life from complications arising from plastic surgery, which was done or conducted on the table of this voluptuous doctor and now report had it that the fat that was supposed to be transferred from her stomach region to her hips to give her the Barbie doll figure eight was erroneously transferred to her lungs organ failure occurred she got into a coma and after 31 days in coma Miriam passed on God rest her soul now, I don't know whether you guys have seen the video of where this surgery was conducted in Dr. Anu's facility. My darlings, it was like a club. There was loud music blasting. In fact, watch the video. Okay, well, no comments for now. It's so painful that this is a lady that was beautiful and worthy enough to have won, to have contested and won a beauty pageant. It's so sad that she had to lose her life in the process of looking or appearing more beautiful. We'll come to comments about that, but first, let us hear what Dr. Anu had to say about the incident that led to this former beauty queen's death. May her soul rest in peace. Um, she did not die in our facility. She had the procedure done. She had the pneumonia and that was why she went to loot in the first place. She walked to loot herself. She was um, in loot for over a month 
they made her sit on a bomb, I mean, lie on a bomb, discontinued antibiotics medication, which is a problem which um, may co- uh, make the patient resistant to that particular um, class of antibiotics. This patient was mismanaged in Lutz. Lutz should be the one answering certain questions on how they managed this patient for over a month and she died. Now, after that episode seems to have faded away, let me just say it literally faded away with 2018. Now, what gave rise to this brouhaha happening on social media right now? Sometime last week, a Twitter slay queen came out to publicly say that if something happens to her, if she dies today, everybody should hold Dr. Anu responsible. This lady that goes by the name of Moti said that Dr. Anu performed a horrendous body procedure surgery on her and she has been numb in the waist. She has gone bankrupt trying to fix it. In fact, she gave all kinds of complaints about her dissatisfaction in the procedure. But let me not talk too much. Hear what she has to say. Whatever you want to do, love yourself, love your body. If you can still work on your body, fine. And if you decide to get surgery, Please, I am begging you, please avoid med control. Please avoid med control. Please, I'm literally battling for my life every day. And I'm I like, I don't want to talk about this thing now. I don't really, I don't even think I have, like, I'm mentally okay to talk about the things I went through and all the damage, like, that was done. Then Dr. Anu started trending. And once again, not for the right reasons. Twitter, as usual, went agog. Facebook went agog. Instagram went crazy. Everybody demanded for her neck. Questions as to her qualification to even practice medicine or even conduct cosmetic surgery on people started coming up. Who were questioning? Are you sure she's a doctor? Are you sure she's licensed to practice? Are you sure she has all the degrees and qualification? Why are we always getting bad reports about this particular doctor? Why are we not getting this kind of feedback from other doctors? After all, she's not the only one who engages in this kind of procedures in Nigeria. So why this doctor? Again, so given the public outcry and public demand for justice and you know the public asking for a head, the government swung into action. And the Consumer Protection Commission sealed up her place of practice, her hospital, med control. Are you following? Although the commission came out to give um, a statement to that sealing up her place is not uh, is not um, a means of punishment though that she has not been tried she has not been found guilty but in the interim to avoid further complaints or further incidences they have to seal it up first pending when investigation is concluded another thing that happened was this said doctor dr anu was arrested and taken to the police station i think is the one at panty in lagos state and people on social media were expressing their displeasure that she was bailed. Even the family of that late Neka that passed on in 2018 after the botch surgery that went bad, they were complaining. Why was she released on bail? Oh, her mother is a police officer. It is bribery and corruption. Wait, let me clear you guys on that. Okay, you know, I'm here to, I'm here to give you guys the cocoa what the law says so if you don't know what the law says you might end up suffering for nothing so maybe she has people that actually knows what the law says first and foremost the constitution of nigeria our law said that you cannot detain anybody for more than 24 hours without trying them in court now that maybe the police is not ready for a trial or they feel they don't have enough evidence to charge her in court the police does not have a right to keep her in detention for more than 24 hours so it's not about connection it's about knowing what the law says all right all right that's on one side but let us talk about this in many surgeries even the one that was conducted by the most skilled professionals everywhere in the world there is always a case or two of mortalities of somebody losing their lives in the process from CS, cesarean sections, to appendix, even as 
a surgery as minor as tonsillitis. I have actually seen somebody who lost her life from tonsillitis surgery. Mado. So what Dr. Anu's fans and those that are on Dr. Anu's side of the boat is saying is that those one or two instances of fatality completely invalidate a doctor's career, invalidate her qualification, invalidate her skill and turn her to a quack. Dr. Anu has come out to tell us that she has conducted over 300 cosmetic surgeries and given the ratio of reported deaths to reported successful cases, I think the success with that number, I think the ratio is like this in favor of more successful cases, right? Judging by the facts and figures and presented. Yeah, we're analyzing this thing together. Let us just keep an open mind and let us let us analyze this thing logically because you know on Nezerville we, we have brains, all right? Don't we? We analyze things logically and not emotionally, okay? Let's go on. So from this number of above 300 surgeries that Dr. Anu says she has conducted in Nigeria alone, that means there have been hundreds and hundreds of successful cases. You know this is Nigeria. So many people wouldn't come out to say they had cosmetic surgery. We'll hide it now and say, hey, hey, this is what God blessed me with. God blessed me. My mama blessed me with this body. Nobody wants to admit that they had surgery or their bum bum didn't come from God. It's all right. And also, on the other hand, from those that do not support Dr. Anu, they are also saying that it's also possible that of these hundreds of cases she quoted, so many people too must have suffered botched procedures but are not bold enough to come out and say what they went through because of this same societal factor, Nigerian factor. Nobody wants to answer Onyemere plastic surgery. What so many people don't know or what so many patients don't take cognizance of is that that consent form that you are giving to sign either you or your relation before surgery is performed on you absolves the doctor and the hospital of any liability in the event of death or any complications arising from that surgery yes but there's a but in law the but is that if that death or complication arise out of sheer negligence or recklessness or avoidable mistakes or lack of qualification to conduct that procedure then whether or not regardless of what the client regardless of what the patient or his relation signs that doctor and that hospital will be made to face the law the signing does not save the doctor in this case so this is the point where we Nigerians are anxiously and patiently waiting. In fact, impatiently waiting. If after investigation, it is proven that Dr. Anu does not have the requisite qualifications to conduct cosmetic surgery on people's daughters, or she has engaged in unprofessional or harmful practices that endangered the life of other people, then her facility should be permanently sealed her license should be permanently withdrawn and she should also be sued. She should also be taken to court. But if the investigation proves that none of this happened and she has the qualification to practice, even if several deaths has occurred in her facility, she still retains her right to practice. She still retains her right to conduct more surgeries on those that are willing to submit themselves to her. Anybody that carries their two legs to go to her clinic is doing it on their own. They are what? On, they are on a frolic of their own. You are on your, on your own. This investigation does not indict her. That means she has a right to practice regardless of what has happened. It's just so crazy and unfortunate what is happening in Nigeria or what happens in Nigeria sometimes. We've had cases where doctors that have been banned from practice in other countries come back to Nigeria and now become professional cosmetic experts toying and experimenting with the bodies of our, our daughters and sisters and wives our women what you will hear sometimes I came across one 
on social media i almost i almost went nuts we are it has gotten to the level where they even do prom promos bonanzas do one breast and get one hip free do bum bum and get nose free your body your life bonanza are you kidding let us talk one-on-one -on -one. what do you think about plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery in nigeria i want us to keep a very open and liberal mind i want us to think as as intellectuals think as smart educated people let us not think with prejudice okay let us think like exposed people but still bearing in mind who we are as africans as nigerians what do you guys think about cosmetic surgery do you think it's a situation of if you can afford it well go for it or do you think the risk outweighs the benefits do you think it's something that you would encourage your child to go for if you were a parent do you think it's worth it is it do you think it's worth risking your life for just drop in the comment section guys what do you think of this new trend that is happening right now in nigeria many of our ladies are all having the same kind of shapes now looking like smoked smoked turkey smoked turkey you understand having this weird figure everybody is doing it now do you think this trend is worth the risk perhaps the worst category of people that even do this plastic this cosmetic surgery some people say okay they're doing it for themselves for their confidence sake they don't like the way they appear their parents don't make them feel confident enough or comfortable enough what about those that do it to please men is that enough reason to risk your life just because you're trying to please the opposite sex i mean what shall it please you what shall what shall it profit you to lose your life trying to like we do liposuction on your stomach trying to get the liposuction on your stomach to please a man that has a pot belly what shall it profit you doing it for yourself is even better as in it's even more acceptable but if it's for a man any man that makes you feel uncomfortable the way you look the way you appear it's not even worth being in your life at all you see when you feel like the only value that you can bring to the table the only value that you can add to a man's life is sex or your body then you'll be willing to go all out to make it perfect because that's all you have to offer you'll be willing to risk it all even if it costs you your life because you don't have any other thing to offer but we 21st century ladies have forgotten that many times these men just go for those basic things that make them happy. Those basic things that we are beginning to lay less emphasis on. Those basic things that are the grains that can keep a marriage or relation or a, or a relationship, not these shafts of a perfect body that we are pursuing now. Sometimes a big smile, good manners, and some wit something in your head would even open more doors for you than a big behind wheel confidence and self-love is not something that you you find in something or you get when you attain somewhere no that's not confidence confidence and self-love is something that you discover in yourself it's something that you give yourself it's something that you find internally you can't seek and get it externally is something you, you get from the inside, not something you bring from the outside. If you're not comfortable and confident and happy with the way you appear now, no amount of surgeries can fix you. Surgeries do not fix self-esteem. Surgeries only fix bodies. And human wants and human needs and human desires are insatiable. So when you meet this need, the next need arrives when and if we keep benchmarking our happiness on attaining a certain goal getting that perfect body getting that perfect job getting that perfect car we will never be happy because when we get it by nature by virtue of our very nature as, as human beings we start craving the next thing so it's a big mistake to benchmark your happiness 
on getting plastic surgery. Ask yourself this question. If the perfect body is the ultimate route to happiness in life, why are actresses, drop-dead actresses, drop-dead supermodels, why are they committing suicide every day? Why are many of them on antidepressant drugs? They live on antidepressant drugs. Why are many of them coming out to publicly say that they are depressed with those perfect bodies of theirs? Doesn't that tell you something? That what we are finding on the surgeon's table might just be in air? We all have a responsibility to make the next person feel beautiful and happy the way they are created. Many of these girls go into these things out of low self-esteem, out of long years of being mocked and ridiculed because of the way they look. When these girls go for surgery, a majority of us, a majority of the men that go in the comment section to type, you would have loved yourself the way you are, why did you go and alter God's creations? You are the ones, we are the ones that still mock and ridicule those girls that don't look like this. We have to be very careful. Parents, we have to be very careful what we tell our children. You tell your daughter, ah, look at you. Your elder sister is even more beautiful than you. Ah, your yeah. elder sister has a pointed nose. You, you have a flat nose. Your elder sister has good shape. You, you have patch, you look at your shape. You look like you have the shape of a man. Ah, look at Mary. Mary, I prefer this Mary, your sister. She's fine. Now, even when children, as when children are so little, as little as two, three years, you see society comparing the prettier sister to the not so pretty sister, the more attractive sister to the not so attractive sister, the light skinned sister to the dark skinned sister. Then, when that dark skinned girl grows up with a complex issue and starts bleaching and starts going to extreme ways to improve her looks, and if she loses her life in the process, don't you know that by our words, we have contributed to that fatality. We come out and idolize the Nicki Minaj's, the Cardi B's, the Kim Kardashian's, the women who have not, who have got their looks unnaturally. Then we turn back in our usual fashion of double standards to condemn our Nigerian girls who are trying to attain that look that you have painted to them as the perfect picture. We have to come to an understanding that happiness and joy and contentment and confidence is a gift that only us can give ourselves. Do not let the media sell to you what the ideal woman should look like. You are ideal the way you are. I know so many people, even as they are listening to my words, will still say, I beg Ineze, it's our choice. Plastic surgery is our choice. I'm an adult, I can choose to do what I want to do with my body, of course, I'm very pro-rights, pro-human rights. Yeah, it's your right, it's your choice. But please, if you must get plastic surgery, you have to do thorough research. You cannot afford to risk your life because you're trying to go for the most affordable procedure, the most affordable clinic. You have to run your background check, look at the incidences of success to fatality ratio you have to check your health history you have to consider if there are alternative ways of correcting that part of your body that you do not like let surgery always if at all is going to be the last option so many of us are so reluctant and lazy to even to even work out to sit up to eat right we just want the fast way how painful would it be to save your money and after saving, you use your money to kill yourself? This is by no means passing judgment on anybody. I just want to give my two cents and I want to hear from you guys what you think about the subject matter, plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery in Nigeria. Because believe it or not, it is a serious issue that is the incidences are skyrocketing right now in Nigeria. So drop your contributions in the comment section. 
Do you think a woman is free to get plastic? Would you advise your friend or your sister or your daughter to go for plastic surgery as a way to boost her confidence? Do you think it's an unnecessary evil that should be avoided? What are your thoughts about plastic surgery? What are your thoughts about Dr. Anu and her practice? What are your thoughts about the family of this lady that wants, um, that is seeking justice? The family of the diseased beauty queen that is seeking justice. What do you think about plastic surgery, stroke cosmetic surgery in Nigeria? Drop in the comment section. I'm going to be going around, reading your comments, and in my usual fashion, responding to your comments. Thank you guys once again for listening to me. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze, and this is Nezeville. See you in my next video.